We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got another Black Series review. I'm doing a little bit of backtracking at the moment, as you may have noticed. Just waiting on the next influx of uh, Black Series and Vintage Collection figures. Um, but yeah, just like I said, backtracking, getting a few bits and pieces. Scar Trooper Mike from, uh, or Mick, Mike? I can't, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Mike. I think. <laughs> we'll see. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. Again, this is one I've sort of gone over. I've sort of passed on it. Um, Sergeant Creel was another one I'm hoping to pick up soon. Um, yeah, just for the sake of avoiding things that I didn't feel like were necessarily must-haves. Um, but now finding out that they're still around and cheaper, it's 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 good. So we got the figure on the back there. I've read a little bit of the, the comic series that these guys appear in. Um... I don't remember too much. It's been a few years since I did read those books um, at the Scar Squadron. Basically, the Emperor Empire's replacement for the Bad Batch, in a way. Uh, it comes in the sort of the plastic-free packaging, which you know I'm glad is gone. But uh, there's there's Mike. There. There's a picture of him. A little bit of a little bit of a bio there. can pause that and check it out and have a read if you like. Yeah, this packaging will be going straight in the bin as soon as I finish recording this. I'll be recycling, don't worry. We will be recycled. <laughs> Alright, let's go over to the desk and take a look at the figure. Alright, here is Scar Trooper Mike. I'm calling him Mike. Yeah, just, you know, Mike. M-I-C, short for microphone. That's the way I interpreted that. Anyway, not a bad looking figure at all. I'm sort of glad it's nice to have some sort of variations of stormtroopers again always is um yeah for the sake of you know not having a lot of you know association with the comics in terms of you know i did read them like i said years ago um this figure and sergeant krill were ones i never really endeavored to pick up um but yet here we are <laughs> the sucker i am is his E11 E11 blaster there? There's a little bit of the silver in the middle there. And then, uh, yeah, it's just sort of like a grey plastic. Then we get this sort of, um, I'm assuming it's a, like a booster jetpack sort of thing based on the fact that it looks like to be a couple of little thrusters there. Um, and they do sort of. I haven't worked out the exact science of these because they're a little bit tricky but these side bits do sort of pull out a little bit I had it before trust me guys <laughs> okay other way so yeah they sort of if I go that way like that they do pop out but you know I think they're just sort of designed to sort of sit like that but yeah I mean, if they were in a little bit straighter, it would have been a little bit easier, but, you know, they do sort of just pop out and slide them back in. I assume that's the, the purpose of it. Otherwise, they're just sort of made to fit in, but, but, yeah, instead of, you know, having a big ugly peg on it and a peg hole on the Stormtrooper, they've simply made that to sort of plug and play. So that does sort of just slots pushes it into that groove and yeah it does sort of just sit nicely on the back that's you know sort of holding it it's not going to come off that's good knowing me i'll more than likely end up gluing it on <laughs> that's what i do because i hate losing things i hate accessories falling off and yeah so yeah, the main differences are, of course, you know, the helmet being a, a new sculpt for this figure. Let me get a close-up look. So sort of his individual sort of helmet. That looks good, you know. I like the I like the differentiation between like, you know, the sort of slightly different visor there. It's sort of one piece as opposed to the individual eyes. 
She's got like the comms device and the uh, torch on the helmet. And then just the sort of the grooves on the, on the forehead there look good. Uh, no difference in sculpt for the rest of the Stormtrooper. It does come with a couple of chest markings there. And he does come with his sort of communication reader computer thing on his wrist, which, you know, you could remove that. But again, that's probably something I'll glue in place. Um, just so I never break it or lose it. Now, the one thing I have worked out with this one is... I don't know, there's something with the mould um, of the shoulder armour. They're not sitting down properly. Um, and they are those sort of separate parts. As you can kind of see, there's a little bit of that sort of that sort of ring in there. Um, and yeah, they're just, they're in too far to have them sort of sitting down nicely. They should, you know, the shoulder armour should be sitting down a little bit more flush than that. So... I'm probably going to end up removing them and then finding a way to fix them onto the shoulders a little bit better. Probably gluing them at the base and allowing that movement at the top if need be. But I don't know, I'll, I'll have a little play around and see what I can do. Um, the other sort of minor difference in this armour is... I don't know, I can't... I haven't got a Stormtrooper on hand to tell you whether the uh, torso in the middle there is a bit different. It could be... Um, but yeah, he's got sort of the black marking there. So it could be slightly different. But yeah, the rest of it is pretty much just a standard Stormtrooper. But it's a good Stormtrooper sculpt. It's the, you know, the modern one that they're using a lot. Which is good what you want. Yeah, I like the, uh, I like the sort of thruster backpack thing. Yeah, it looks good. Just add something a little bit different to the figure, which is what I like. Give him the uh, E11 there. He's got a uh, trigger finger. Oh, kind of. But potential. Let's, let's see. You could kind of get that in both hands. It's a little bit looser in that hand. So that's probably, you know, better made to hold, hold that way. So that's cool. I know uh, Sergeant Creel comes with a few other bits and pieces, you know, he's got the lightsaber and a few different armor pieces, but yeah, wondering whether Hasbro has any plans to eventually get to the rest. It's much like the uh, Bad Batch in the Vintage Collection. They've done Hunter, and that's it. That's where I've been nefarious for, um, notorious even, for not finishing crews. You know, the Bad Batch in the Black Series has been good, but I think of things like, you know, the Knights of Ren, etc. Got to finish your squads, Hasbro. You've got to get them done. By any means necessary. Okay, maybe not by any means, but just like, you know, factor them into your plan somehow. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this guy. I think he looks kind of cool. Be nice to, you know, like I said, I'll hopefully get Krill, Sergeant Krill in the next week or so. I just found him available for a pretty damn good price, so... It's just got to bite the bullet, you know. It's got to bite the bullet. But yeah, I like the... I don't know, I like the blue touches on the on the forearm thing and the, and the visor. It looks good. So I'll probably go take him back out. To the living room while I'm editing my video. Just play around with him a little bit. Articulation-wise, he's got the uh, ball, double ball peg in the neck. He's got the neck joint does have ball joints in in the shoulders with the uh, butterfly joint, which I think is more so with the ball and socket, and then a hinge in the shoulder there, uh, single hinge in the elbows, hinges in the wrists, inward hinge there, up and downward hinge there, so the joint in the torso, got the uh, ball and socket joint in the thighs, the swivel at the thighs too, 
single joint in the knees gets plenty of articulation movement and then a ball hinge in the ankles with the rock at the feet so all the articulation you could ever want unless you want i don't know i don't know what else you want finger articulation come on go buy a hot toy no they even they don't have finger articulation so <laughs> all right folks thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this one this has been a cool cool little stormtrooper to add to the collection i'm, I'm glad i picked him up I'm glad I waited until he was a bit cheaper, but I'm glad I picked him up all the same. So that being said, we'll see you again on another video. Please give the video a like, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next one. Until then, may the force be with you always.